We seriously question the sincerity, the sincerity of the government in introducing such an important bill, giving the Prime Minister such great powers in a very secretive way. Two days it was sneaked into Parliament. I personally believe that uh, if the bill is passed, uh, it is rushed through and it is passed in this sitting, it is basically passing a death sentence to Malaysia's democracy. A death sentence. Right? Now why I say this is, if we read closely under the act, uh, the bill that they are proposing, uh, especially on the scope of powers of the Security Council to be set up, it gives the government great uh, latitude uh, in defining the Amno Barisan National Government, in defining what amounts to social political stability, as well as what amounts to national unity. If you look at section 4, of the, of, the, of the bill, it basically says here the council shall have the following functions. A, to formulate policies and strategic measures. Not only form, formulate policies, but to take and carry into action strategic measures, national security, and then here they try to explain, include what national security is, sovereignty, territorial integrity, defence, and here the, the, what we object to is social political stability. Right? Economic stability, strategic resources and national unity. So it gives AMNO great powers to define what amounts to social political stability and what is national unity. And this is very worrying in light of the current political uh, development in uh, recent months where we have seen uh, the unequal treatment of 916 red shirt rallies. Right? And I think uh, with the great powers given to uh, the Prime Minister Dataran Merdeka will be uh, declared a security zone permanently.